I think it's a suburban life that's making me think this way. I didn't used to think this way. I live in an amazingly white suburb, too. It's like PGA Golf Superstore white. <laughs> it's getting better, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, uh, the other day, I saw four black families in a grocery store at the same time. And we just looked at each other and smiled. <laughs> Deep down, we knew that the store manager couldn't follow all of us. <laughs> He's like a football coach in the middle of a grocery store. What the fuck? <laughs> Cut him off at the flaming hot Cheetos. Stack. <laughs> I'm a nice, modest home now. Two bathroom house. It's actually three bathrooms, but I don't go in a third bathroom because that's where my teenagers go, and I won't. I won't go in there unless I'm in full CDC hazmat suit. <laughs> sticking to stuff like flypaper. <laughs> you get the joke. Listen. <laughs> I'm irritated because we got bidets in all my bathrooms. Bidets, people. That's right. Let me tell you something. Bidets are game changers. Everyone should have a bidet. There's nothing like having a feeling of an immaculately clean butthole. Nothing. You just feel superior. That's how Trump makes white people feel. Just better than everyone. Mm. What are you guys judging me? I'm judging you. How dare you not laugh at my jokes, you dirty butthole motherfuckers. Who are you? Who are you? With all of this mud in your asshole, looking at me like something's wrong with me? <laughs> First time I discovered a bidet, I was playing basketball in Japan like 20 years ago. And I was like, if I ever make enough money, I'm gonna buy myself a bidet. Come to find out they're $59.99 at Home Depot. <laughs> I've been missing out on butthole Nirvana for two decades? They got all sorts of settings, but I put mine on one. Full blast! I excavate my asshole. Sometimes I spray it so hard that the backlash tickle my balls. Oh my gosh. Pull my beard and call me daddy. I'm in love. 